jury has been chosen for the Kevin Co. civil commitment trial. But they won't ever hear the words South Hill Rapist. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Here is the makeup of that jury. Eight women, four men will decide if he should remain behind bars or step free. The trial for the man long considered the South Hill Rapist will begin on Monday. KXLY4's Eric Loney was in court today and he joins us live. Eric? Yeah, it started with 200 potential jurors two weeks ago, and now it's down to the final 12. There's a lot of motion surrounding today's jury selection. We saw one, one woman who was picked for the jury looking very sad in the jury box, but we also saw several people celebrating as they left the courtroom after being not selected for the jury. Now they will return to the courthouse here on Monday for opening statements. When Kevin Coe returns to court Monday morning, it will be the first time a local jury will decide his fate. A jury from Western Washington came to Spokane and convicted him of six rapes back in 1981. But an appeals court overturned the case and his retrial was moved to Seattle. Today, Coe's attorneys tried to get the trial moved out of Spokane again, arguing they cannot get a fair trial here because the case has become part of Spokane's culture. Our jury system probably isn't designed to be fair or isn't at its fairest when the people in the community have uh, as one of the jurors said, essentially lived the case. And I believe that uh, a change of venue motion is not necessary, that we have been able, uh, with careful selection, to, uh, to pick uh, a jury in, in Spokane County. Uh, so the motion will be denied. The jury of eight women and four men will decide if Kevin Coe is a sexually violent predator. Prosecutors will argue Coe has a mental illness and will likely rape again if set free. Coe's attorneys say he's an aging man and no longer a threat. Prosecutors say Coe is the South Hill rapist that terrorized Spokane during the late 70s and 80s. He's suspected in more than 40 attacks. Judge Kathleen O'Connor has barred prosecutors from calling him the South Hill rapist during the trial because in the end he was convicted of only one rape. Coe has always maintained his innocence. Again, opening statements begin at 9 a.m. here at the courthouse on Monday morning. Prosecutors tell me their first witnesses will be women who say they were raped by Kevin Coe. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.